Hi there and welcome to my video. In this video we're going to take a look at an RSS reader for the Mac because if you like me like a lot of news and you before have been using uh, Safari or uh, Mail in uh, Lion, Snow Leopard or whatever to read your RSS news then you're going to get a little bit of a dis disappointment because in Mountain Lion they have completely removed all RSS functionality from the operating system. So we're going to take a look at an alternative today it is around nine to ten dollars. Uh, that's pretty much what I've uh, converted um, our value here in Denmark to. Um, the application is called uh, Pulp, and it is designed to give you sort of a newspaper reading experience. Whether it succeeds or not, I'm going to leave that up to you. But we're going to take a look at this application today, and I have already downloaded and installed the application. And once you open it, it looks like this. Um, there is a ton of news already uh, thrown into this. Uh, Apple Hot News, Daring Football, and a lot of things um, that you might want. But I'm going to show you also how to, how to edit this entire experience. So we'll hit this edit button over here. And then now we're in edit mode, so now we can remove and add columns. And I would like to just start from scratch. So I'll just right click here and I will remove the tabs that are already here. There have to be at least one tab, so uh, the last one I'll just wait a little bit to delete. Now I'm going to add uh, some new sites. So let's make one here that we're calling Computer News. There we go. And then we can get rid of this last one. There. Now I have a clean slate here, so let's start adding some news feeds. Good. I have uh, several uh, pages here that I would like to add. I have the technology news on the New York Times. So I'll need to find the RSS feed, of course, and for some reason it is down here in the bottom of the screen. There it is. And then I want the technology RSS. There we go. So now I get this page. There's not installed any RSS reader. I haven't bothered translating my Mac's language today. And I'll just go over here and add it. Hit the enter button, and yes, that's it. There. And now it's added. I can then click the uh, the gear here and then I can change the name if I want to and I can also uh, tell it where do I want to read the articles. I'm going to set this to inline and pulp so I can show you that later and then I can decide how I want the articles displayed uh, if there's any images in the uh, RSS feed it will show them as well and then I can of course tell it uh, the number of articles I want it to download and let's just add a few more here. I have also MacRumors, of course. Get their RSS feed. There we go. And then again, just copy this RSS feed over into the application. And there we go. And you see, this time there is some images, and it downloads them as well. I'll just see if I can hit the gear here. And if this this name here is a little bit long for me, so I'll just change that. There we go. And I would like to open these in Safari. And I would like to display this way, yes, and I would like a little bit more articles downloaded. Of course, you can set up that these news require authentication as well, but I'm not going to show that. Good. And the last column here, I'll just remove. Good. Now I would like to just add some world news here. There we go, and then I have a CNN here that I would like to add. I'll have to go down to the page finding the RSS, and then I'm going to get a list of all the RSS. I get here a list of all the available RSS feeds, and I want the top stories. Go over to Pulp and add it. And I'm just using a Command C and Command V to copy and paste this if you don't know. And again, just change the settings to whatever I want. Maybe I want this. A few more articles. And I would like this to open in pulp. Yes. Good. And let's just add one final here. I'll just add the Reuters.com. And there is the RSS feed. There we go. Good. Now there is a reason, of course, why I'm adding all of these, and I'll show you that in a moment. Good. I'll just set this up as I want it. I would like this to open in Pulp as well, and I would like it to show this way. Should there be any images? I don't know if there is. No. 
anyway and just remove this column. Good. And of course, uh, if I don't like uh, the way that it divides this, I can just click and drag this line here. There. Good. We'll click done, and now I'm out of the editing mode. Now, of course, now I have all my uh, news in here, and if I go to my home, it's going to try and find all the tags and various things from my from all my news feeds. So, of course, the more I add, the more will also be added to this. Right now, the only thing that is really finding that there's a lot of is Apple and Mountain Lion. There's a lot of discussion about this at the moment. So I can just read about that here. And I can see that Apple launches OS X Server for Mountain Lion. And if I want to read it, it just went ahead and opened this in Safari, as I told it to. Now, if we'll just jump over here to Computer News. And I would like to read something here on the New York Times. On the New York Times. And if I click something, it just opens it up here in Pulp. So I can have it this way if I want to and I just click outside the page here and it'll collapse it and of course that works on all my other feeds as well and of course if the RSS feeds would deliver the entire text it would be here but they're not and I can just click the title here and it'll take me right to that news and then I can go and see this video God, I'll leave you to do that yourselves good there is of course multiple settings that you can make around this application um, and of, uh, so, sorry, a lot of things that you can do. So if you want to save a story, let's say uh, I would like to keep this one for safekeeping because I know a few people who have these Mac. I just click this button here and I get sort of a shelf here and I just drag the news up there. Uh, there it is. There we go. And now it's saved. So anytime I want to get to this article, I just click on it and there it is. And of course, this will just expand as you need it. And it will show me here that I have one saved article. And of course, what would a newsreader be without a full screen feature? And it uses the brand new sc full screen feature in Lion and Mountain Lion. And then I get sort of a wooden background here, so I'm not disturbed by anything. And of course, if we open up the preferences for this application, we can uh, choose what the defaults we want are, whether we want it to be inline in Pulp or we want it Safari. We can also choose when we open Safari links if we want them in front of Pulp or behind. So if you're just picking all our news that we want to read, we can just select those we want and then click them and then it'll open up behind it. And of course we can also set when we want it to check for news. We want it to check every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes or every hour or whatever. And then of course it can throw a batch on the dock icon and it can also bounce it. And it can even play a sound. And of course there is a lot of sharing uh, options in this application, so if you read a cool news and just want to share it to Twitter, there is that functionality. Now, I'm not such a social network uh, person, so I don't really have that. And um, this application works very, very well. Um, it's very difficult to time these videos with uh, news. Um, so I can't really show you uh, any batches on the dock icon. Um, but this application in general is very well working and I have many news on it on my own uh, system. <laughs> oh. There we go. That was not what we wanted to see. Anyway, uh, but I have a lot of news in my own uh, system uh, in this and it actually works very, very well. And of course, when you hit the close button, um, notice down here, uh, even though it's a bit difficult, that the application doesn't really close, it just hides itself. And when news will become available, there's come this little red badge with a number on it with the amount of news that's available for you. I have uh, tried many RSS readers, and this is by far the best that I have found. And if you are to get an RSS reader, I think it should be this one. Besides what I have shown here, there is, of course, more functionality in this application. But I will leave you to explore that on your own. This is the key elements of this application. Now, thank you for watching the video.